Today we're going to discuss Docker multi-stage builds. Multi-stage builds are very important and one of the best practices while working with Docker. So in this video, let's see how to write multi-stage Docker builds and what are the benefits of multi-stage Docker builds. For the sake of demonstration, I have React.js application. Let's use this application, which is a very simple Hello World application. And uh, let's create multi-stage build and try to uh, deploy that final image in local. Right. So I want to create Docker file here. Let's create. We're going to have two stages in this Docker file. Stage one is to build node application, get the artifacts. Stage two, pick those artifacts and deploy onto Nginx. Let's write this. I am taking node 18 version. Let's give alias name to this using as keyword build. Then let's have work directory on node image. In this work directory, let's copy the required files. Now let's copy package.json and uh, package-lock.json using copy command. Destination is dot, which is current folder, that is slash app. Now, let's install dependencies using npm install. This command installs all required dependencies to build this application. After that, let's copy remaining source code dot which is everything on local. The next dot is onto Docker image. Now we want to build it using npm run build. This creates dist folder. Inside that, we will have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and related files, which we should deploy on the web server. Now let's begin stage two using from images nginx uh, with alpine version, which is the lightweight. Let's copy this folder onto this second image. Let's use copy. Let's use hyphen hyphen from the alias name is build use build i want to copy uh, this folder which is under slash app slash dist on the first image into nginx deployment folder that is usr share nginx HTML. If you remember, we need Node only for building Node.js application, but Node is not required in the runtime. So that's why in stage one, we are getting the build and we are picking only the output of the build using it in Nginx, which avoids Node.js on the runtime, I mean, on the uh, final docker image which reduces the size as well. One of the best practices for minimizing overall docker image size is multi-stage build. There are other things we should consider. I will do separate video for that. But one of the important aspect is using multi-stage build. 
Nginx by default runs on 8080. Let's use expose. I'm sorry, it is 80. And finally, start Nginx application when a container is created. To summarize, this is stage one. We are using Node.js to build. This is stage two where Node.js is not required. We are picking only the outputs from stage one using copy uh, hyphen hyphen from syntax. And we are creating this image. So the final image will be very lightweight. Let's save this and uh, let's build and run this application. Let's use docker build command. So after building, let's run this container. run hyphen d hyphen p this is for port mapping i want 80 80 on the host 80 on the container something is wrong just a minute okay maybe i gave a typo issue in the name docker run hyphen d hyphen p 80 80 on the host 80 on the container perfect now, there are two containers running that's okay the container we are interested in is this one java home slash app colon one you can access this using 80 80 let's do it So perfect this is the dummy application we used for showing demonstrating multi-stage docker builds thanks for watching